To many, Ralph Wilkerson is a father in the faith. In the 1960s, he and his wife Eileen founded Melody Land, a church that eventually became the site of a tremendous outpouring of God's Holy Spirit. The impact made by Ralph Wilkerson's divine call affected the church on a global scale. Melody Land played a key role during the revivals of the 1970s. Many churches can trace their roots back to Melody Land, and some of those churches eventually became a worldwide network of churches and ministries. Ralph Wilkerson was also used of God as an influential voice in some of the most anointed healing ministries in modern church history. Pastor Ralph Wilkerson had this to say about our ministry. I tell you this, we've got to begin to pray for preach people in the, in the ministries that are they're there trying to fight devils and everything else. You're an answer to my prayers. God is using people like you. You just got back from the Philippines where God did tremendous things. He's doing it again. One of the most vital ministries that I know about in ministry, young people and old people, the healing ministry, supernatural ministry, the ministry of the Bible, the balance ministry, is this ministry that we're talking about today. And I tell you, Brother Hernandez, when I look and see what God's doing through young preachers, I wrote a book called Profile of the Prophets. I studied all the prophets, over a hundred of them in the Bible. And you know what? I, God said, you know, that that's wonderful, but there are prophets today. They're in the church. You say, I don't know who they are. Well, keep looking and listening because these men and women of God are used by the Spirit to tell you things, not only what's going to come, but what God is doing right now. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you'll open your mind and you'll give support to this ministry because it's an infant ministry, it's a brand new ministry. He's, he's had only a few years, and I've been with some of these ministries. You know, over 40 years, I was in one church here, across from Disneyland, and I believe that we're just starting we're just starting today to see some new things happen. I'm wanting to multiply myself. So I'm pouring myself into young preachers, young pastors, young evangelists, young missionaries that are changing this generation. And this ministry will change. It's the greatest investment you can make. And whatever you can give from your abundance, not from your scarcity, but from your abundance, because you've been blessed. And some of you that have abundance need to start giving like you've never given before. In the name of Jesus. As to the debt of sin, justice is the one who demands the penalty. And it is heaven's agenda that you fulfill what God has placed in you. God or Jesus, I come to you right now. 